Well, the day of the vote went off reasonably peacefully. That's not that unusual in a lot of these cases in Africa, even if there's a lot of tension. That tension often comes before the vote or afterwards with the announcement of the results. That's coming up in a few days, so the real tension may yet, uh, may be yet to come. On the day in Francophone uh, Cameroon, there were no reported violent incidents, um, whereas in Anglophone Cameroon, there were some uh, violent incidents between separatist groups and the armed forces, and some people died. So, uh, peaceful in Francophone uh, Cameroon. Uh, unsurprisingly, some violence in Anglophone Cameroon, given that separatists um, uh, have been fighting with security forces for some time. Immediately after the vote, in fact the next day, one of the leading opponents, Maurice Camto, declared that he had won the election. Um, he declared this on the basis of his party's own count at the polling stations. Another opponent, Cabral Libi, also followed that on Facebook and said that he had won the elections. The third leading opponent, Joshua Ossi, uh, declared that the election should be completely annulled. So the opposition evidently rejected the results. They've taken this to the Constitutional Court. Now this is a very big thing. Not since 1992 have we had such a dispute over an electoral result. Not since that period have we seen opponents completely reject the whole electoral process. So the current situation is that these requests, these uh, complaints are with the Constitutional Court. The Constitutional Court is legally the body that declares the results of the elections. They haven't done that yet, but they, ha they are receiving the final polling results um, from the polling station. So we can expect in the next few days an official result, and I think that will be very tense, given that pretty much all the main opposition have rejected the results in advance. But looking further ahead, we have some really serious problems when uh, whatever government is formed after these elections uh, will be seen by many as not having come from a legitimate vote. Most seriously, of course, we have the situation in Anglophone regions, which this election does not appear to have uh, helped with, um, given how few people voted there. We've got an emerging civil war, and the most important thing that any administration coming out of these elections needs to focus on is getting to talks um, with Anglophone groups, taking their grievances seriously um, and going in good faith into talks. So that's what Crisis Group has been calling for for a year and a half now. And these elections, important though they are, they don't change that main point that the most important thing is to get to talks with the Anglophones at present.